Hi guys, um, in this video today I'm going to show you how to create a new document content types. So, in other words, uh, I have a library there. I want that in this library, uh, when I upload a new document or create a new document, uh, here I have only a simple document. What I want to do is, every time I'm going to click on new documents, I want something like an Excel document or a PowerPoint document or any other documents straight away. And those documents are going to be like templates, for example. So here I've just created um, a simple uh, Excel document. Okay. And the point is that every time uh, one of my colleagues is going to click in there, is going to see this document, this Excel document, click on it, and this is going to be like um, a simple template. Okay, so let's get to work now. Uh, I'm going to close this. So it, it's just a document library in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the root site where you have your library, and then we're going to click on site actions site settings and you can see that under gallery we have site content types so we're going to click on this here you have already loads of content types created okay but i'm going to make a custom one so i'm going to click on create in there now i'm going to fill everything i need so i'm going to give it a name um i'm going to put excel sales agent agent and i'm gonna put demo okay you can give it a description there if you want this is not mandatory but you can um select the parent content type from here we're gonna choose document content type okay uh, parent content type this will be a document now i can put this uh, in an existing group, okay, like the, this one is already created, custom content types, or I can create a new one, but I will just leave it at custom content type, so I'm going to be able to find it for the demo. Okay, and now we have uh, different options in there um, that we can choose from. So the point is we have to go to advanced settings, and we can enter the URL where the document is, okay? Or we can directly uh, upload the document that we have uh, created. So we're gonna look for it, click Browse, and I put this document in there, Docs for a demo, and we have Sales by Agent. Gonna click Open. Now, should this content type be on read only? Obviously not, because we want to change it once we open it. Um, update all content types and everything from this type. We can leave that at yes. And then we click OK. Now, what we need to do is we need to enable the management of the document content type for that library. So we're going to go to that library and on the library tab in there that we have we click on it and we go to library settings once we are there we have advanced settings click on it and there's a bunch of options that we can modify it and we have allow management of content type so we're going to choose that at yes so this way we're going to be able to add content types um, directly to the new document option. Uh, you can change the rest if you want. If you want to open any documents uh, on the client application, if you have it installed on your PC um, and you have different options uh, directly from there, but this is not going to change um, uh, what we are going to do now. Um, so now we can click OK and we are uh, back to uh, the library settings. So we can see that we have an option there, uh, content type. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to add our Excel document to the content type. So add from existing site content types. And we're going to look for our uh, document that we created earlier. So if it's at the beginning, we can see it there. But if it's at the beginning, obviously, we're going to see it. Otherwise, uh, remember that we put it on the custom content types. So I'm going to click on this one, click Add, and then we're going to click on OK. All right. So now um, we should see the document here uh, added directly. OK. So now what we're going to do, we're going to check if that worked. So we're going to go back to the library and we're going to go to the document tab. And under new document, we finally have uh, the Excel uh, sample that we created earlier. So if I click on this, this normally should bring the document as a template already uh, so you just wait for a few seconds and then here it is. And now you're able to feel directly on it, obviously, if you uh, enable the editing part, but um, here it is. And you can do that with any um, Office document. Uh, this can be a PowerPoint or Excel or Word or whatever. All right, guys, uh, that's all for today. So uh, catch you uh, in another video. Bye bye.